Welcome to part one of the basic tutorial. Here, you will learn the basics of aerial combat. In mouse aim mode, you can control your plane simply by pointing the cursor at the place where you want to fly to. Point your cursor at the waypoint, and you'll see how easy it is to... That's it! Proceed to the waypoint. Increase the throttle to fly faster. Increase the throttle to 100%. Decrease the throttle to fly slower. Decrease the throttle to 30%. You can see the aircraft's current speed in the upper left corner of the screen. The current engine power percentage is shown above it. As you can see, the aircraft's speed depends on its engine power. Decrease the power if you want to fly slower. Increase it if you need to fly faster. Increase the throttle until war emergency power is enabled. to continue flying with WEP. The WEP lets you fly at maximum speed. Each mission has its own goals and objectives, which must be completed in order to win. Press and hold the tactical map button to see the list of completed, failed, and current objectives. First enemy is before you, a balloon. It's practically immobile. To destroy an immobile target, you need to aim at it and shoot. Press the fire button. You can see several markers on the screen. The mouse targeting cursor that your plane follows the targeting crosshair that shows where the main armament of the plane is aimed, and the lead angle indicator, which is the most important, as it shows where you need to shoot to hit the opponent. You will be unable to hit your opponent if you move the targeting cursor onto them with your mouse. The rounds will fly in the direction that the crosshair is aimed. also be unable to hit a moving object if you move the targeting crosshair directly onto it, as the target will move while the rounds fly forward and the burst will miss. To hit the opponent, put the targeting crosshair over the lead angle indicator of the enemy plane and fire. You need to fire right at it to hit the target. Aim and keep the mouse aim cursor at the lead angle indicator. Now your aircraft has started to turn towards the target. You need to aim the crosshairs at the lead angle indicator. Your sight and the lead angle indicator have converged. It's time to fire. Great job! The target is destroyed. Practice on a couple of enemy planes. While fighting, you will often encounter enemy ground equipment. The ground vehicle counter will often appear during missions. This shows the number of enemy vehicles you need to destroy to win. Zoom in to see your target better. Return to the original
Your machine guns and cannons are perfect for hitting light targets with poor armor protection. Use them to destroy the truck. Now, you need to steer away from the ground. Your last enemy unit is destroyed. We won! Your tutorial is finished. Now, you are ready for a real battle. to part two of the basic tutorial. Here, you will learn how and with what you can assault ground equipment. Right now, you're controlling an attack aircraft. Assault planes are designed to assist ground troops. Often, they are armed with light bombs, unguided rockets, and cannons for destroying surface targets. Proceed to the waypoint. Fighter and assault planes can carry bombs to drop while diving at ground targets. Your bomb site shows where bombs will strike the ground. To hit a target, you need to place it right in the center of your sight. The sight turns red when it is looking directly at the target. Drop the bombs. You hit the target. Now, you need to steer away from the ground to quickly change the direction. Notice that your plane carries unguided rockets. Since rockets have low accuracy, it's best to launch several of them at once. Destroy vehicles with machine guns, bombs, or rockets. Targets destroyed. Victory! Welcome to part three of the basic tutorial. Here, you will learn how to bomb ground targets properly. Right now, you're controlling a bomber. Bombers can carry heavy bombs designed to deal large amounts of damage over a wide area. To keep themselves safe from anti-aircraft fire and hostile fighters, bombers fly at high altitudes. It's much simpler to hit a target using a bomb sight. You can toggle between different sites with the Toggle View button. Press the Toggle View button twice to switch. Press to return to third person view. You can also switch to bomb site view directly. Drop bombs on the airfield. Amount of remaining bombs is displayed in the upper. Drop the rest of your bombs. Great hit. Often, 
Bombers are a target for enemy fighters. Turret used a fire button to shoot at hostile aircraft. Use the displayed lead angle to aim. Enemy is destroyed. Your mission is complete. basic tutorial. This mission is designed to let you practice your takeoff and landing skills. In order to take off, your aircraft must reach a high enough speed. Push your throttle to 100% to start your takeoff run. The plane has started accelerating. Watch your speed. has reached a high enough speed. Time to reach the marked waypoint. Landing on an airfield during missions enables you to capture the area or repair the aircraft. In order to land your aircraft successfully, you need to reduce its speed significantly. Decrease the throttle. the landing gear. speed is dropping, intense braking can flip it over. Release the wheel brake button to avoid crashing. The plane has stopped. A successful landing. 